So I just want to say, um, you need to go B, especially if you're randoms, because chances are you're going to be the only one capping it. Um, these idiots I was playing with, I basically won the game for them by holding down B. But I start off here, look at the mini-map, I get a solo cap on B. They're not even heading there, not even one, just me. I can't even believe that. Um, anyway, I'm just going to do my final review of Modern Warfare 3, um, now that Black Ops is just a couple days away. Um, and in all honesty, to kind of spoiler alert, I really like this game. Um, I thought it was a great game. And honestly, I, d I don't understand a lot of the hate for it, outside of the technical issues. Um, I understand a lot of the console guys had uh, technical issues with lag and, and, and uh, host correction and all that stuff. And I, I get technical issues, but outside of that... Um, I'm not, I don't really understand the hate that the game received. Um, first, the really negative thing was the way they did DLC for me. Um, they just released the last pack way too late in the life of the game for me. Um, I just can't swing $15 for four weeks of, for four weeks of maps and how often would I play them in that time. Anyway, it was just kind of a bad setup, especially since uh, DLC Pack 3 was uh, Spec Ops and Face Off only, and I don't play that, so pushed it back way late. So I just hope with Black Ops 2 they uh, make sure the multiplayer is released <coughs> decently, decently early or whatever you want to call it before the next Call of Duty, you know, because we know there will be a next another Call of Duty in, in November, so... Um, Anyhow, um, I really like this game. Uh, I think one of the strong points of the game was just the diversi diversification of like perks and weapons. Um, I know nothing was like really new or really like crazy, um, inventive or risky. Not like what we're seeing with Black Ops 2, but in this game, I've used. A more diverse set of perks than ever before in, in any Call of Duty. Um, and the and the and the, apparently the trophy system was not out in time. But uh, in this game, I have you know pretty much every perk except for Overkill. Um, I've used with success and actually enjoyed using and have a class with it even right now to this day towards the end of the game. Um, Whereas in every Call of Duty previous to this, I could probably tell you the three perks that I use straight up almost every match. Out of ten classes, I would have eight with that same three perks set up. Maybe like a stealth class and then a messing around class on, the, you know, to fill out the rest of the ten. But in this one, I have all sorts of different sets, um, all sorts of different loadouts, and I've really enjoyed that. Um, some of my favorite towards the end have been Sit Rep. Um, Sitrep Pro, really one of the most underrated perks in the game, and probably the most overpowered. Um, just an amazing perk. And Recon, I thought was a great addition to the game. Uh, really team-oriented perk with Recon, could do a lot of damage with it. Just good stuff. I mean, again, they didn't take any huge risks, any you know major leaps forward in the series, but just kind of polished what they had coming off of Modern Warfare 2, especially with the Damage Studio. Um, the game has been good times. Um, the same with the weapons. I, I mastered... Um, by mastered, I mean I made it to level 31 in all the ARs, all the SMGs, all the LMGs, um, two of the shotguns. And I'm not a good enough sniper to stick with it long enough to do any of the snipers, but got a few in there as well. Uh, but just I thought I thought the weapons had good identity. Um, each each weapon, or at least a lot of the weapons, felt like their own weapon, not just like copies of other guns. Even even if a lot of them were just bad guns, MP5. I'm looking at you. Um, at least they felt different. You can say you know I'm using this gun or this um, shotgun, this sniper, this uh, AR, and I use it because it's different from the others because of this reason. Um, I really like that, um, that, that you could, uh, you know, 
not every gun was exactly the same. <clears throat> with the <laughs> with the exception of let's say Akimbo FMGs, um, the game was pretty well balanced, um, which is always nice. So you don't have uh, that one hit weapon like OMA tubes or something that MW2 had. So again, I think it's just a polish of MW2. But I put in about 20 days of gameplay in this game. Enjoyed pretty much all of it. Um, and it was nice to come back after dedicated servers and no party system to being able to play with, with a party on the same team with your friends and uh, just really focus on getting good at the game, practicing some tactics, um, and winning without the need to completely carry teams or play against your own guys. Um, it's just so much better when you're on, on the same team. And so that's another thing I'm looking forward to with Black Ops is um, we're kind of getting the best of both worlds with dedicated servers on the PC, but uh, matchmaking to the dedicated servers. So we'll have the connection and the security of dedicated servers with the... Uh, benefit of being able to play with our friends on the same team in a party system. So that'll be really nice. Um, I give Modern Warfare 3 a solid 8.5. Uh, I take off the 1.5 because there were, there wasn't very many risks taken, not much deviating from the from the formula. It While it is like a Modern Warfare 2.5 um, it was enough of a step up that um, I liked it. I uh, I thought it was a good iteration and just fine for a sequel. Um, although, I mean, Black Ops 2 is really redefining what a sequel to a game is. But um, I think a lot of the accusations against uh, Modern Warfare 2 are a little weak and a, a little uh, unfair. Um such as their kill streak reworking and and it's interesting because there was a lot of complaints that uh modern warfare 3 didn't do enough didn't change enough but now that black ops 2 is missing um certain perks or certain things like the strike package setup you see people uh com complaining or wanting to bring certain things back from modern warfare 3 so they did a lot of things right um just didn't take any risks Um, I would say maybe now that my my biggest complaint with the end game is mostly just the community. Um, basically just a, a horrendous amount of complaining. That was one of the things that eventually started to drive me crazy with this community. Um, accusations on a, on a per game basis and uh, just complaining in general about getting beat. And different things um, and it's it's not just us there's entire threads on the steam forum about it and uh, everybody says oh take it as a compliment or this or that but it, it eventually just gets to be super annoying um, and aggravating that players just can't say good game after after a game or or just say nothing you know if they got beat I understand if you got beat the last thing you're gonna say is is GG but um, the constant complaining got old. I'm hoping that we can hopefully get a slightly more mature crew <coughs> of players on the PC for Black Ops, but my hopes aren't high. <laughs> anyway, um, but anyway, it's been good. It's been good times on Modern Warfare 3. Again, it's an 8.5 in my book. Uh, by far the best Call of Duty to date, in my opinion. Um, it's just a good improvement on the previous ones. So, <clears throat> moving on now, to, I guess the things that I'm looking forward to here in a few days from Black Ops 2 is uh, one, the pick 10 system, just the increased customization and uh, league play. Um, J3 tends to beat up on pubs pretty hard. We've got six shutouts in this game. I'm looking forward to being able to uh, to place uh, competition clan v clan just have those really tight close games to really uh, 
you know, see where your skills are at, see what you can do under pressure, and different things like that. Those are the two things that I'm looking forward to most with Black Ops. Um, and anyway, so that's kind of my thoughts on this, what I'm looking forward to in Black Ops. And uh, I'm going to be doing a few more of these uh, videos for the different games that I'm playing right now, uh, namely Borderlands 2, Torchlight 2, and, and maybe a Minecraft video, just kind of my gaming year in review. Um, had a lot of good times in those games as well. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments uh, or on the forum. And uh, if somehow you found this video without being on the forum, you should go check it out, fpsheadquarters.com. Come contribute to our discussions on Black Ops and other first-person shooters. Anyways, thanks for watching. Later.